there's still so much CC going down. Shark Guy is nearly dead. Lopuszynski putting in work, but that's a huge Volley Bear ultimate there. And Wesley and Shield, they clean up the fight. As plays. He's trying to make the solo play, he's looking for that up at 90, grabbing to make a fall through, puts it low and gets the goal. And so that will be the Condors. That was Condors. probably the quickest round. Conestoga College is setting the stage for a new era in gaming. In 2025, we're opening a state-of-the-art esports venue, a premier facility for high-performing gamers in Canada. In this 10,000 square foot facility, we're putting you in the center of the action. The facility will have 50 top-tier PC stations, five console stations, immersive VR stations, a team operations room, a full production suite, and a premier competition stage. Esports is a rapidly evolving industry with global viewership of 532 million in 2022. This initiative goes beyond esports. It's also a platform for forging bonds, making memories, and creating connections. Since 2020, Condors Esports continues to evolve, providing industry leading facilities and experiences to the esports community. Conestoga's esports venue expresses a sustainable and intentional future to compete, play, and work all powered by gaming. Well, howdy again. All of our friends have joined us here oh. at Conestoga College. We're hanging out watching some Condors Esports tonight. May be a double whammy, we don't know yet, but we'll be focusing in on Call of Duty first. So if you yes. wanted some action, yes. you're gonna get it. I'm Leaf, and Ohak is joining beside me, and we're gonna be your guides, your wayfarers, your Sherpas up the mountain of esports today. Are you ready to hold the hands of all behind us and guide them to the light? No. Oh, well then, you're <laughs> off the team. You can make coffee for the rest of us. You can make coffee? Yeah. I enjoy this. You said coffee. no, so you're I relegated to whatever yeah. I give you now. That's fine. Okay. I, 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 I got no issue. <laughs> I gave you the option to be the, the leader of our cult. I mean, uh, club. <laughs> it's a, if it's the first option, I'm a little more interested. Okay, well, yeah. we'll figure out if the rules for it. Start a little cult. Start a little cult. That's fine. We'll, we'll figure out the, the rules and regulations for bringing on new members later on. But for now, anybody can join us. So if you're hanging out in chat, thanks. We love y'all. You're in the cult. But we only love you a lot if you go down to the socials and make sure you follow us. Is that how you really join the cult? The, that's part of it. That's, that's the part initiation. Of it? Okay. You got to like fill in all that's the slots. It's like pre-initiation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah, work out fine, then. actual initiation. We'll figure it out later. We'll do that. Well, for time. now, yes. let's talk Call of Duty because that Call will be our first match. You can see... Our homies hanging out at the computers. They've been relegated to the side for now because, as I said, we have a lot of esports going on today. It's busy. And over in the, busy, the main busy. area, our Counter-Strike team is playing. We might dip and dive into them. Uh, we obviously do have to be up in front about it. That There may be some problems with the recent patch of Call of Duty that may cause us to head over there and watch those matches. But, hey, who's complaining of getting more esports throughout the day? Not me. Not, Not me, me for either. one. No, I love seeing it. I love it. And especially like you just said. The hub is bustling with action tonight. We got Call of Duty in there. We got Valorant. Mm -hmm. League of Legends are playing right now as well. And then, of course, CSGO on the varsity desk. Getting it's ready poppin'. to go for tonight's match as well. It's, it is popping right now. Yeah. I, I think I think the CS team is yelling at us right now. We got to look at rosters. We can't watch you for too long here. 
But I think they're. Uh, what did they do? Are they yelling at someone? I don't know if it was uh, us. Someone was like holding something. Yeah, in the background maybe they there. the hand warmers. I don't know. But here's our Call of Duty team whoop, whoop. roster, of course. Uh, going down the line, we got J. Ray, Dremel, Frizzy, and Shaco. Yeah. So you can't forget Coach Eric at the end. There. Well, I can forget him. You can forget him. I don't want to. I'm just saying I can. It is I'm possible. It is possible. That's but. true. But no, again, this is yes. what's great about uh, this squad, and I've always said it about Call of Duty, is you have very eccentric folk eccentric. When, when it comes to Call of Duty rosters. Okay. And the same goes for the coach. He keeps yes. that energy up. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a very imposing – he's tall, too. Yeah, he's and, very tall. And he's got uh, that was the first thing I said to him when I met him, actually. I'm like, wow, you're a tall dude. And he's got a lot of energy, so you're just like, wow, that is, that's a guy we should listen to. You need it for a game like this, though. When right. it comes to such a high-energy, fast-paced yep. game, you need to have that, like – good fast energy yes. going yeah you right keep up with it that's what Be i'm saying sync. having him as the back lines is great for this squad mm -hmm. right let's talk about the squad because oh, the squad yes let's yes. talk about the squad because yes. obviously uh for them this is a, a matchup uh you talked to them just before you talked to coach eric i did i did and I had you a nice found good out conversation. how they feel going up against this team yeah tonight we are up against george mason university hi george mason so, university. Hi, hi guys if you're in chat there hello and the COD team, they're feeling like they got a pretty good chance winning against them. They're pretty confident. Good. They did. George Mason went up against Fanshawe mm -hmm. last week, and they got 3 0 by Fanshawe. And, of course, as you might have seen the other week, our goal is to go after Fanshawe right. and beat them. So this is a good, like, you know, predeterminer if we can get them. And but right now, seeing some map vetoes. Map vetoes. What do you think about this? Uh, well, this is uh, this is fun. I do believe uh, the Skid Row was there was Conestoga's first yes, pick. Yes, that was our first. And pick. then they got the last pick on Invasion, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got two invasions tonight. Look at that. What the? Oh my! Double whammy God. on is that, that one. Is that map twice? Does that happen? I don't know, but it's on the screen, so I'm saying it. Okay. Well, there yeah. we go. Look it's at that. different game modes, so it's allowed to happen. That is true. That's why. That is very true. Yeah. Uh, and again, as you said, it's uh, the fact that we're going to start on a, a map that was picked by our squad. That's going to be a definitive must win. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to say confidently, too, because that momentum, as we said just before, Call of Duty comes with personality, and personality thrives when you're winning and you can just pop off. So if they can get a win on their map pick right off the bat, that's huge. going to be huge momentum going into the second map. And they want to get those early wins as well. Because you were talking about the major update earlier, of course, the bug side. Right. We also saw there, if you look at the map veto, Rio is in the rotation now. It is. This is his big yes. debut. And unfortunately, I was talking to them earlier. I heard, yeah, the confidence they're not a fan there. of. <laughs> they're not a fan of Rio. They've only played one match on it so Ooh. far. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let's hope we don't get to that It point. didn't go too good. <laughs> it didn't go too good. So, if, of course, that's the fourth map. Right. So if they manage to get that 3 0, they don't even got to experience it. It's possible we don't even get to that point. But the other thing is, even if you do get to it, it's still good like experience to get to know that map. Right. So oh, of course. I mean, it's like, still yeah, positive course. on that as well because they got to play it eventually. And if they, they get smacked it on it, it's probably going to make them start playing a lot more on that map. They're going to want to learn Rio. Knowing that it's in rotation. Well, they've now. already got smacked on it. Bit, so. <laughs> I think they've already got that attitude about it. Again, fingers crossed. On. Well, fingers crossed we don't even get to that point. Uh, I mean, it's a possibility. You said this was a team that, uh, that they're going up against that was beaten by Fanshawe. Yeah. And that is a squad that our squad here, Conestoga Condors, for Fanshawe. Yes, believe that so they, they can't could beat overtake. the team that got beat by Fanshawe. What do you do at that point? What do you do at that point? Well, now, now you just have a love triangle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's just now it's like, okay, who's, who loves who the most who here? Who loves who the most? Well, I guess hate. They're, they're, uh, I thought they're it was, shooting I think at more, each yeah, other. So. Yeah, a bit more aggressive than love. Unless yeah. it's the Valentine's Day is coming up. You never know. Can you, would you think it would be possible to hate the person that hates your enemy? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess well, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Isn't that the saying? So the guy that hates me is my friend? Because that's where they would end up in the triangle, right? But isn't it like the, the, the hater of your hater is your friend? Why yeah. the guy who hates you is your friend? But if I hate two and two hates three, three hates me, do I hate two for hating three? You're like frying my brain. Right now. <laughs> like I can, I can hear the sparks happening up there. I heard it too. It's there was bad. a grinding yeah. noise oh, going. Oh <laughs> man, you can't be doing that to me this early in the stream. <laughs> okay, well let's uh, let's get back to video games. Nice yes. and simple, yes. right? Yes. No more triangles, please. <laughs> yeah. I uh, while we get into it, I'm going to give you a quick TLDR just in case we do have to jump over to our CS match. Let's quickly give you some info on them before we get oh. into our Call of Duty whoa, match. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm getting ready. Oh, I ready? thought you started. You were starting to juggle, and I was. Oh, I was. I don't have anything. Ready. I can't juggle. Okay, I can't juggle. Well, we'll learn one day. That's part of our cult initiation. <laughs> Juggling, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, I, I'm fine with that. I wouldn't mind learning that. 
But our Counter Strike right. squad yeah. is playing NECC today. That's why they, they have the they have the main benches over there. It might just mm -hmm. be they got here first. Who knows? I don't know what. I don't know how it works. I don't know I just, how the they, they got it. They got it. They're, they're they're all here. And that's the spot, that's the like. important part. But yeah, they are hanging out. Their goal uh, right now, they're in a group in NECC where the there's one team specifically that looks like they might be the best of the best. They're pretty sure that there there's a, a good lot of gap. That recently. Yeah, there's just <laughs> heard a, good, a lot of best of the best around here. One squad that's a little bit ahead. So yeah. uh, they're aiming for that second spot and it might be a fight for second spot. So they're really every match now becomes very, very important. Of course they all are, but even more so now that there's only like there's one some spot. that are above the others. Like you gotta admit. Right. But there's only one spot now potentially for playoffs amongst all the rest of the squads in that group. So that is uh, that's kind of the the story we're looking at yeah. for CS if we do end up jumping over to that. But of course, on screen first, our our goal, bar any problems, let's, fingers crossed, bar any problems, Activision, please. We'll be we'll be watching our Call of Duty squad, and you can see Jay Round on screen as they they get into it. it. Looks like he's he's getting himself amped up right now. Oh, he always saw, gets himself amped up. You saw that one though. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, let's. Oh. <laughs> That's that's the exhale of like let's leave all it's worries and doubt behind. Pufferfish hype up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like let's make sure I distill it through the filter of air. All worry and doubt is out the window. It's gone. All that's left is pure energy and rage and, and hatred for my enemy. It was so positive, and then you just <laughs> completely segued it into nothing but hate. You have to. These guys are your enemy. You have to do anything you it's can to It's the theme of today, them. love or hate. You need to pick a side. It's love the triangle, the hate, and then hate. And the theme today, sir, is balance. Right? I guess. I guess you got, you, got, you got some balance between the two. you don't topics. have a good, healthy balance in your life, well, then what, what are you? I'm Owen. You're just a person. Do you have balance in your life? You tell me. I Master think so. Uguay. I tell you, this is life, 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 life lessons with oh, Leaf today. I hope that it's was a tongue life twister. Lessons. That sounds scary. <laughs> Just uh, don't share your hats with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good life lesson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> life lessons with Leaf. Okay. It was, uh, that's, it was a bit more tongue twister than it had to be. It's too many L's. Uh, yeah, th that's usually what I'm taking. Oh. Back to the negative yeah, that's, best that's side. Horrible. <laughs> but I'm having a blast here. Yeah. Always happiness. You're bringing dubs. Our, you got a dub in I'm your name. I'm bringing dubs? Yeah. Me? Yeah. You got a dub in your name. I do have a dub in my name. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so I'm you. the one who brings the dubs or the one who brings... Right. Well, sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Well, we're still waiting <laughs> for the Call of Duty waiting, squad yeah. to, to get into match here. You know, uh, as it goes, the, the standard... Uh, Call of Duty, let's get into the lobby kind of situations here. I saw them earlier as well because of the different versions they're playing on, especially this new update. They have to change all their settings. They have to mix everything around, get it all set up. Because some guys yeah. playing Steam, some guys playing Battle.net. Right. So you just, Coach Eric was going around verifying everything. So might be still going through some settings, getting used to this new, maybe some new update stuff. I don't know. I, didn't, I was told Rio's the only major thing in this new update. So... Yeah, I, no, uh, no other differences. I I don't know. There's I assume there's a lot more p smaller things underlying little numbers that uh, little changed. Numbers. No big numbers, just little. That's ones. probably what would end up causing yeah. more of the the problems. Apparently, they also when they came in today, they sat down, they're ready to play, and then there was a hot fix came in for the game. I did, I did hear this. Yeah, it was nine gigabytes. Okay, we a, a hot fix, a hot fix. <laughs> Call of Duty is already notorious for their massive, massive file size. And not, oh my. It was a hot fix. It was just fixing some small issues. <laughs> oh, man. They made I'm, it through it, though. They're all ready to go. Um, but yeah, it was nine gigabytes, and that's. That's like. I'm happy you had the same reaction I did. It's insane. Just the. the their <laughs> optimization is not necessary anymore. No. Everybody's got fiber internet. We don't need to optimize our files. I mean, they're making money either way. It doesn't matter. That's true. Nine gig update or not. And you're going to download it and play it. Buy the game. Are you going to not download it? Is that uh, is nine gigs going to be that? Get the game. The point where you say, "I'm done." Probably not. I doubt it. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't just delete it. You pay for it. You got to download that update. Right. Say nine gigs. I'm not doing that. No. 
play the game. I bet. Do you think there's someone out there that might have? They're just fed up with it. I'm done with this. Maybe. Maybe that was the like the like the tilting point. The for tipping them. point. Yeah. yeah the tipping it was point. In addition to the 20 other nine gig updates that came before it. <laughs> Thousands of gigabytes gone because they need some hot fixes. There are some people. I I have some friends that nine gigs would be an entire day download for mm. them. And if you get home from work, you're already guessing these mad. aren't the Star Citizen friends then. <laughs> no. Oh. No. They they. Uh, well, th that's actually... Is it? <laughs> you know what's funny? It, those updates actually aren't that big, and that game is so much more massive. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The ones I've experienced are, but maybe... So, uh, some. Well, if you re-download the game every single time, but... Oh, I don't do that. The whole game is only like 90 gigs. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was... Oh, that's, that's kind of big on my computer. I have a lot of small games. Is it Call of Duty like 200? Probably. Like, it's That insane. one's not on my computer. It's massive. No. You know what's a, a cool little secret I want to let you guys in on? Oh, I see maps loading. So is in the, the background. That, yeah, that is the okay. secret. It won't be a secret okay. for much longer, so I had to get it out there. Okay. Because so what we're getting they're going to find out in a few seconds. Yeah, we're going to find out. Yeah. <coughs> um, we have left bar anything oh, going wrong. We got Call of Duty, ladies and gentlemen. A first match here. George Mason versus Condors Esports. Oh, the HUD. Yeah, got some issues still with the HUD, of course. We are reversed again. We are reversed. I'm already. I'm honestly. You I'm should know these players right now. You should know these players. <laughs> Got the Condors team. So we're starting off Skid Row, Hard Point, of course. Get into it. We had a bit of conversation with Coach Eric once again earlier. Big long conversation with him. Real nice. Talking about the different ways they do their uh, hills and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna definitely pay more attention to he's saying money hills, like the ones they want to go after and what. Absolutely. They take. Yeah. There's uh, there's a couple points he said specifically. Uh, second point was one that they'd be looking at as a money hill. One that's kind of once you cap it, it's a bit of a freebie to hold on to. Mm -hmm. Some of these other hills are going to be a little hard uh, to hold on to. It'll be contended a lot more often. And we do see as we are the green squad, we are in the lead at the point or at this point. Both. We are in the lead on that point. It is right. That's point is very ours. true. Good but. point. <laughs> oh, God. Right, there we go. New hardpoint switch over. So as you can see right now, this one's the money hill. I can already tell because it's got that high ground advantage. It's got that verticality yes. to it. Hard to get on it and take. So Condors, they want to get on, take advantage. Right now, it is control of George Mason. They got the trophy system down. Nice. Good take. We'll push on, get taken down, get a few kills down to this tunnel here. I'll just throw a Semtex in your face real quick. Don't worry about the prison. It happens. No. This is great right now because, again, they've got great line of sights. And you see how far the team is spread out around it. Make sure that they can't get past mid and every single one of George Mason players are dropping like flies before they can even enter that side of the field. So, as you said, Money Hill for money. the Condors. And they're just holding it with a single person. The rest floating around to just watch those spawns and make sure no one sneaks on through. We see 10 seconds right now. Everyone's kind of abandoning the hard point, getting ready for the of next course. one. To switch up. Condors right now got a nice good lead, 50 points ahead. And steady. Yeah, but this is going to be a little more difficult now as that point gets on there. There's four players from George Mason surrounding our singular player on that point. Good hole. Oh, Jay Ray. He gets one down, and the rest of the squad is going to rotate onto that point. And they might actually be able to take this and win these gunfights now that all three players have returned from that last hill. So, yeah, they're trying to make it on. Jay Ray did buy some good amount of time for his team to regroup and get together. Played a bit slow, there though. It's finally collapsed on. And it's, I love to see it when they all get in position and they get ready to take these angles and these points, and they all just swing around at the same time. They right. get the coordination going, the team play, and as you can see, they got the point because of it. Well, that's and they're the thing. holding it. With this game a little bit, little bit longer, still smaller in compared to some, but a little bit longer of a TTK means you get those team shots going on, two players spraying on one player, you're going to get that kill a lot more quickly. Mm -hmm. And a great hold from the Condors, a 110 to 30 lead, and George Mason. With a bit of difficulty finding themselves back on point that will probably look to next hill to try to regain some of these points as the Condors do have that one locked down. Yeah, j is on it there. He got the trophy system down. Couldn't quite hold it, but the rest of his teams come in. Secure the hard point. Going to see. Have two players on site right now, and we've got a flank coming around from the side. Frizzy takes down two. Holding down his team, helping the defense. Let's see right now. Got some players falling, but Condors are holding strong right now. Eliminating any George Mason player that tries to get close, flying around, getting right. his out. Great hold from the Condors. Every single one of these hills, you see that mid point of the map, the split right down the center. They have that controlled quite beautifully. And now 
The players on the Condors already looking to spread out a little bit to make sure that George Mason can't find any way into the next hill. And look how spread out we have George Mason at this point. There's going to be very little coordination between those players as the Condors look to sit to that next point. Yeah, they got some bad spawns here, something going on. They just can't seem to group up and try and retake this point. Saw a bit of a contesting there, but Dremel was able to take care of it. And right now, George Mason, they're scattered. New hardpoint comes out. They're nowhere near to take it. Condors are yeah. already there. I, I quite wonder if George Mason doesn't quite have the rotations down on those oh. hardpoints at this point because... <laughs> yeah, Condors are uh, always finding themselves getting to these points a little bit easier than they probably should be. And they're just sticking together, too. Like I was saying earlier, but taking those angles, peeking at the same time. I've seen a few of those already. Well, George Mason, they're just spawning in, running out, and they just don't seem yep. to put the team play to use. Again, Maybe. Contours looking for some hefty kill streaks yeah. as they find this map maybe a little bit easier than initially anticipated just a bit just a bit but you know they they were even not like too sure about skid row at the start i was told that they're like eh, skid row we don't know about that one being the first pick coach but apparently coach knows best yeah J, J ray's face <laughs> when yeah. he said that he's like mm, mm. i don't know about that <laughs> but uh no turns out again as you said coach but eric knows what he's doing out there he says yeah this is this is what we want we're going to be solid and Condors, I could say it confidently at this point, there's no way that they're going to end up losing this round because George Mason Ooh. just did not have a footing on these rotations, and you found them spread out so many times. And then when it came down to the actual gunfights, they got some kills, sure, but it definitely was in the hands of the Condors. Yeah, they weren't able to get that momentum, grab onto it, hold points for very long, and just stick together and get that, you know, get the score to mm -hmm. advance forward. There yeah. we go. It's Condors. Like, it's weird seeing it say George Mason. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're making them feel better about the loss. They can screen cap this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, if you watch the gameplay, you're going to see that it was the Condors players that were in the green, and they were certainly on top of that map. And that gives me confidence at this point that I don't think they're going to have to see the map that they were worried about. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to call it too early, but I, I, I'm going certain that this is going to end up being a uh, is going to end up being a 3-0 for the Condors. Yeah, you just think? You think? Well, you're sniffing it out a little? Just Yeah, just a little after that? Yeah. You know, a, it is still first match, of course. So some weird things tend to happen in first matches. Right, right. Maybe people yeah. aren't warmed up yet. But right now, it does look like the Condors, they got the groove on. They know what they're doing. Again, war I don't know if warm-up's the biggest thing in this. To, to me, it's certainly, it looked more of... That one looked more of a, a, a map knowledge than yes. anything it, yes. it, that the Condors had over George Mason. And now, obviously, that can change coming into the next map. That it could go the other way. Yeah, because it is George Mason's pick. Exactly. Well, yeah. So they might have that one on lock and be a little more in tune with things that it could go there. Because, again, they it was not like they're losing every single gunfight. No. But it still seemed to be, even in the gunplay side of things that looked like Condors might have had a bit of an edge. Uh, I, didn't, edge. I didn't see the scone bo scoreboard. I was watching Kill Feed, but even there, it looks like, okay, we might have I a little bit of an edge. I saw J-Ray at the end ended 18 and 9. Yeah, so... That's it, pretty heavy. It's a, I it's a 16 and 5 as well. Yeah, it's a 2... What's that? A 2.0? 18 and 9? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right yes, on the dot. 2.0. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I know COD players are aiming for that 4 and up, but... But... And competitive... <clears throat> Anything. I'm good. a two. It's, it's not good. too shabby. Yeah, no, I'll, I'd take two kills of life <laughs> if I was in competitive. It's not too shabby. No, that's yeah. pretty good. If yeah. you get the whole squad doing that, Ooh, you're like, okay. but again, map knowledge seemed to be to be the biggest thing. And yeah. Next one will be Karachi, which I've seen this squad play on before, and do fairly confidently. So, okay. I'm okay. Uh, again, I'm going to stick with my 3-0 prediction. Bias aside, but with bias, definitely, I'm sticking with the 3-0 prediction uh, on this. And <laughs> that, I guess, at the end of the day, if they can get this 3-0, they're just being nice to the CS team because we might be able to let them get in earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you think that's what they got in mind right now? We got to win so we can let CS in. I think they're just being really nice. Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, Hopefully. you know what? We're gonna we're doing this for the rest of the Condor squads here today. We're doing it for the CS team. Oh. We'll shut them down. There we go. Now we're back. We went to hate. Now we're back to love again. Wow, the balance yeah, is like going it's still. It's all I about like balance, it. like baby. It. Map number two <laughs> on a Karachi. And we have the Condors in yellow this time. George Mason over on green. That'll be correct. This map around. 
search and destroy now as well. So that is things true. are gonna change up a little. You can't exactly run in and quite significantly. Yeah, yes. you lose a life, yes. you're done. <laughs> you're out of there. Everybody's gotta take down. J Ray gets the trade. Are on attack right now. Ooh. Nice take. We'll see. Three on two. And Dremel's got a good spot on top of the roof there. Well, this is what I'm curious now if we're gonna see if the condors are gonna try to lay it down on B. I assume they don't want to try to rotate A, because it seems like George Mason nice. has it on lock. Good little pick there. And we're gonna get ourselves down to a two-two. And this now just becomes patience for the condors. So slow of a minute. Plant, and there's one. The plant nice. coming down. That's good. All right, they get it unlocked. See if we can gunfight win. A chase down. Look at that. Dremo is chasing down that other player, but falling off the roof. They're not going to get the kill, and that could put them in a bit of an awkward spot. They hide in the corner because they know now that George Mason has to make the push. They get the kill, and now it's a 2v1. Let's see it. One final George Mason player left. The bomb is ticking down. 24 seconds. Let's see. He's a bit of running around right now. May try and get up. Try and get the height advantage on the Condors. Trying to switch his position. Keep them not knowing what to do. Gonna make his way around. 12 seconds. Gotta get the kills here. Gotta get the defuse. Condors might play a bit more time. Shaco's just kind of juking him out. Getting nice. the movement going. That's the round win. Condors, Condors taking it. Again, it looked like they might have been at disadvantage at the beginning there. They obviously had that B hold, but they were hmm. down by a player. And at any point, if George Mason wanted to jump in there and try to sneak up, maybe force them off that point a little bit more and not even get that plant. They might have been able to, but they had the high ground. They were able to hold it. Oh. And uh, the Condors, look at that. We're, did, we're just like, hey, we're just going <laughs> to take, <laughs> take the devil for all. <laughs> Oh, man. It's, a, it's a best of one now. That's it. That's all they need. They're like, okay, you guys win. <laughs> it's over. It's over. That's, that's great. Uh, but, yeah, again, that, that uh, absolutely wonderful uh, from the Condors. That's, uh, they had their backs up against the wall. I mean, not completely disadvantageous no. uh, based off of their positioning on that map. But, in fact, they were able to hold it together. And, again, the last two players took down three in total. So well, We saw both Shaco and Dremo made their way over to B site. Right. Dremo was able to take that. Very valuable position all the way up on that rooftop. And you saw it. He was using it to uh -huh. the best of his ability, scanning all the streets beneath him. Right. And it was just able to buy the time. Shaco was able to push on, get the plant down. And they just had to wait. George Mason, come to them. I think that was an important thing, too. They didn't want to get that plant too early. Because mm -hmm. if you get that plant too early, without gaining the knowledge of where George Mason might be pushing from, they could have easily pushed in. Yeah. While you only had one teammate with left, you, you need to support them. And the angles they were covering were supporting each other. But they needed to make sure they weren't diving in uh, with only one player at that point. Yeah, so. yeah you want to wait for that advantage, and that's exactly. what they did, and they took it. Right. And right now, of course, we're going to see what's going to happen coming up for COD, but we're going to take a little quick peek cool. on the CS game. See what's happening. See, we are on Anubis here. Right. 04. Condors are up a few rounds. Yep, they're on yellow. On, that's on good to see side. again. This match, as we mentioned earlier, a bit of an important match for them. I guess they all are. They really need to set an early example mm. that they're going to be that team grabbing the second spot for playoffs by the end of the league. Yeah, we do see Condors are up in the funds and just up in these rounds right now, looking real nice. Gonna have to try and attack, take these sites. They wanna get bridge control, of course, as always. Wanna get that Anubis bridge, bridge control. A lot of smokes going out. Oh, you see PSX? Everyone got, everyone got nervous because we were watching, so they stopped doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> it all slowed down. I don't know if you've seen it before, but PSX does... He hasn't used it recently, but he was just dominating last year with the SG. The cool. SG is, like, the, like, signature weapon I've seen. Well, he did just get a headshot with it, yeah, so... Yeah, he's finally back with it, but... That is all we're going to see for now. So no, that's we're just doing peak. a dip and dive. A little, little tease, a little tease. Yeah, we're not we're just doing dip and dive in there. Back to Call of Duty. We'll see if we can get a second dub here for the Condors. It seems that the rounds restarted. So maybe there was some other issue, some bug that caused. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if the, the first one counted. I imagine it did count. Oh. Uh, actually, it's just a draw. There's just surprises all over the place for us tonight, Colin. <laughs> wow. We just uh, we decided let's shake hands and move on from this. <laughs> yeah. uh, does anyone really want to play S and D? That's enough shooting for once. Enough violence. Let's just <laughs> you know, go all jump on like I don't know Tetris or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, it's jump uh, something else. as we mentioned previously, we might be a little bit difficulties with the uh, Call of Duty with the hotfix <laughs> that came through today. So. Yeah. 
Those nine gigabytes, they went somewhere else. <laughs> they went. <laughs> <laughs> they put them in the wrong folder. They put them, they put them in zombies. The files, Mason, knows. where are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but, you know, little hiccups here and there. And because of this, da 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 da, we're going to go oh, back wow, to the CS action. And well, just in time, round win for the Condors. I think that's going to be uh, the story today, is just dubs for the Condors. Oh, I thought you were going to say the story is going to be. Swapping back and forth all the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that would be fair. We'd give whiplash to our viewers. <laughs> yeah, which, ah, ah, oh, we're on this game, we're on this game. No, uh, again, we're... Uh, called, like, Mario Kart in a second as well. There's one we're not going to... crash. We're not going to... Don't, don't, <laughs> br please don't breathe that into existence. <laughs> we're, we're, this is why we're not going, we're not full screen. We're just watching, we're like, we're just, it's like a, we kind of have it on our side TV, and it's in the other living room, and every yeah. once in a while... Yeah. You jump it and see what's going in with the with like, CS. You're like cooking dinner and you just kind of peek around the corner and yeah, see. It's like, oh, what happened? Oh, what's going on in there? Did the casters get excited for something? No. <laughs> no. No. I mean, this, Nothing again. Nothing but low energy. This is a, a great start, though, for yes. for the Condors on CS2 side of things. Grabbing a, a first five rounds. Obviously, CS, anything can happen. You know, you get a side switch, too. It's can very easily turn around the other way. But they got the momentum going already, it looks like. Pushing in, taking aggressive angles, taking as a yeah. team. See a few picks go here against the Condors, getting taken down, losing some numbers. Wapi's in behind though. Might be able to get a good flank coming around, he's going to have to watch his right. Oh, he knows, he knows. Get some shots out, the player. The player in the position, get information. Gonna have to back out, almost just <laughs> flicked around and got his teammate. 2v2, gonna see. Getting a little slow, calm down a bit, get the smoke, back out. It's a little interesting. To t I can't really tell who has the bomb or not here. Uh, it's one of our Call of Duty players, I think. Oh, they got the bomb? I think okay. that's why they keep shutting down the matches, is because they had two bombs on S and S D, and it really wasn't fair. <laughs> it's not allowed. It's the, they <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's not right. Oh, Pebby Cam with the double kill ending that round. Oh, get to hear the music now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Call of Duty back, ladies and gentlemen. Just enough time to see again Condors rocking it over there on their PCs. We'll see if we can get the Condors on this side of things rocking their PCs. Again, we're not sure what will happen with those previous scores. We'll find out likely in a few moments. You never know. As you the information moves down the pipeline. Never know what's next. We'll get it eventually, but right now we've got to focus on the action. Condors there are just attacking off first. Frisky gets the first blood. Scattered comp right now. Ooh, Shaco ran into one, couldn't quite get the kill. Frizzy gets killed elsewhere. Yeah, that's huge for George Mason. They're down to a 2v1. I mean, obviously, we have seen Dremel pop off before. Oh, and he's going to be able to oh. nag one. He lost his teammate in the action there, though. Jayra got taken down. It's a 1v2 now. Oh, and he is hunting. I, I've seen Dremel with this look in his eyes before. I think he gets this dub. You think he does? Oh, yeah, he's chasing him down. Look at the <laughs> – just the concentration. <laughs> this is what I used to look like when I was 15, when I was playing Call of Duty. Like, <laughs> just hunting when I down. was unstoppable. Yeah, no, this was – this is – this looks familiar to me. So, again, there's the B plant to left. Mm. He's got to worry about. Great movement there. He kind of knows where the one player is. He's going to have to find yeah, a second. That's one down. No, no not, not quite. quite. He's got, got the some hits. damage out, though. Oh, he's got to watch his back coming around here. Getting in close. He is on the, the hunt right now. Let's see if he can get him. Now, him on the... Oh, there it is. Winton, what are you doing? Climbing <laughs> that ladder. You got a hunter on your tails. Oh, 14 seconds left. He's going to get something done. Pushing Last in. one. He knows he's Gets got... Gets the Yep, he's got the hit marker for it. Gets the kill. Not oh! quite. And George Mason barely getting away with a dub on that one. That was... I was in the zone on that. That felt like nostalgia to me. Yeah. Yeah. Brought you back to your, your 15 the good old high days. school days there. Yeah. High pace. Call of Duty action. I can't really relate, to be honest. I I was a zombies child growing up. I like my COD zombies. Ah, you're one of those kids. Give me a good Easter egg. I'll one go after it. One of those kids. Uh, well, we'll find out if they can oh, you hear that? get another win here. Because we did just get word in that it is 2-0. They counted the first round, not the second one. But the first round it was Counted, so one more win. Or sorry, I believe this is George Mason now, so it'll be two more, yeah. Yes. No, one more. Yes, I'm sorry, I can't, because I, <laughs> they were opposite the first time, so I was thinking back. It's 1-1. One, one. Yes. It's 1-1. One, one. Yes. Yes. You get like a marker and like yes. draw it on, draw it on, on the there. screen. <laughs> one. <laughs> I said this before, you got some white out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. 
on the monitor. <laughs> yeah, man, don't do that. That's bad. This is a great turn, though. This yeah. might end up being up to two points for the Condors if they can hold this one out. They got the... Freezy's been running to him here. Here's oh, planted. Bang, 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 nice. bang. Good slide. Good night. Condors take that one, and it'll be a 2-1 two -one two -one. now since first round did count. Just to make it even more difficult for us here passing. Just got to keep mental note of that. Keep track of it. I mean, it's only one number. We should be able to do that. Oh, dude, that's a lot. Yeah, the that's casters a lot are bad for my with numbers. Brain. Oh, that's true. I could barely handle the triangle earlier. Never mind the number one. <laughs> so right now, yeah, going into round four. What's that, what's that ground saying to you? Come on, Frizzy. Talk to me. Does ground talk to you? Sometimes. Oh, that's not good. You ever put your ear up to it and hear what the earth has to say? Nope. Oh, okay. I'll, maybe I'll try it soon. It's part of the cult. We'll do it later for now. We've got to see if the Condors can knock down one more round. Oh, quick. Very interesting. Yeah, Dremo knows. Someone's got to be right outside there. Oh, we'll oh. see if he gets the kill. Oh. And they do. Oh. <laughs> Four kills on the board. And they are just eliminated. Precision oh. tactical oh. strike <laughs> for the Condors. Everything happened at once. We saw the one kill from J-Ray. And then you look at the kill feed. The other three just popped up. Yeah, so. I was. Uh, we're, we're watching to see if... If Dremo was going to step out there and get that dub, yeah, right, yeah, right there, and there we get to finally right see it. Yeah, oh. double kill. Look at that headshot placement. We too. looked away from him at the last second and took a look at someone else, but all four kills came up at the same time. It was again tactical strike from the Condors. This was some, well, I guess you could say Black Ops stuff. They were in there at the cover of night. Mm. Their opponents did this not is know. Modern Warfare, though, it I can't know. be Black Ops. Well, stuff. I can still reference it. It's Call you of Duty. You can still reference it, but it's not the right game. No, but it's still referential material. I did a Mason j reference before, which is Black Ops. I think that went over. Oh no, no, you did. No, I thought you, you meant Mason, it. like George Mason. No, I, 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 heard the, <laughs> I heard the files went earlier. Yes. I just realized now yes. that, that was a good double entendre. Yeah, that's what that's what I was warning at first, but. Right now, you can see Condor's coming out. They're on the attack. Dremel got the first blood. It yeah, seems like they're taking control of B site pretty fast. Frizzy's got the high ground, got the good angle in the balcony there. He's gonna watch this doorway. Starboy's flying in. Oh, he got the kill. Cruise missile from watch Dremel. Watch in there, baby. Let's see if see. it hits. Come on. Who's in that building? Nobody. Oh, close though. He knew. He's got the intel. Frizzy's able to come up behind and work off that. Well, what's great about those cruise missiles is it forces people onto the indoors a little bit, and then yep. you know as your teammates, okay, we're going to be hiding in these likely spots. Now we can push it the second that cruise missile is about to hit. So You don't want to push as it's hitting. It's just, yeah, it's just a great tool for control of the map. Oh, yeah. And it makes you feel cool, too. That is, yeah. That's a big factor. For sure. I always feel better if I'm looking cool. I play better as well. That's why I spend so much money on skins in video games. You're part of the problem. I'm part of the problem. <laughs> ha! It all began with a horse in armor. <laughs> oh, here we are now. Battle passes and whatnot. To be fair, it has made devs make some really cool skins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty possible. All that. Nice. Get the double whammy. Not quite. Frizzy only drops one, but Percepts get another one on the other side of the field. And at Condors, going to be walking in. Equal footing on this. Bomb down over by B, and we'll see if Condors can walk out of this again. They know this situation. They've seen it before. Just kind of just patience. waiting, yeah. Spend their time. Shaco is able to go one from up top. It seems that these high ground plays, and especially on this map, you always want to get rooftop top control. Oh, Ooh. great pick there through the wall or the window as Percepts tried to jump out the other side, try to get away. And now that they know there's only a singular guy left, they can take him out because he had to get the plant. And the Condors are going to step on their opponents. It's thrown a bit off my, uh, yeah, my yeah. mindset I had going there. I kept hearing the chicken in to my be ear. Fair, Did you hear that? That happened to me in Counter-Strike the yeah. other day. I was I'm like, who's making that noise? Really into the chicken. Yeah. yeah. But he witnessed it all. Chicken's even closer than we are. Joke's on you. It's actually Productions has like a soundboard. I swear to God. They start doing that. Broadcast didn't hear the chicken at all. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. No. It's start like sending the, me in a spiral. Actually, it was funny because I was going to say it's like the little knock that sounds like someone's in your apartment. Oh, yeah. Right, right? Yeah. And then a bunch of uh, bombs went off in the background that sounded like the <laughs> knock. <laughs> well, that's horrifying, man. But 
Not as horrifying as this push is about a B. Yes, sir. Hunters making their way up. They're getting the rooftop control. I was just talking about Dremel. Loves getting up here. Loves scanning all the possible areas that the enemies could be. But Percepts was there this time. He was ready. Flank around. He gets the kill, but it's traded out by J-Ray. Shaco gets another. You see, it is down to 3v2. Condor's got the man advantage. But not for yeah. long. No, potentially not for long here. And that's very true. Condor's nabbing one more kill. They're oh, going to hunt down the other one. They know where it is. Take them down. You got nice. the high ground, baby. And the Condor's once again saying, get under my boot. I'm going to stomp you out. And that's Woo! the win. That's the win yeah, right there, too, because uh, we got that invisible one. I remembered it. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, and yeah, well, it's also the fact that the team is celebrating. You know, this is the greatest dub of their life. It Look could at be, them. Yeah, I don't know. Like or they just got some really good EDM in their headphones <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's, it, it's the silent rave. Are they going to play this next round? What's going to happen? I'm curious. Yeah. I want to see what I, they I can't. Uh, I mean, yeah. We should see like a knife only round. I think that'd be really interesting. Some ninja action going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Pull this the CS gentleman's agreement. Oh, I think they're going to play it out and see what happens. Hey, why not? A bit more legit. You're in the yeah. lobby, right? Yeah. We're here to play video games. I mean, by golly, we're going to play them. And for George Mason, this is great, too. It's extra practice. Exactly. Woo! Almost getting the flank there. Oh. And shots were not quite where they needed to land. And George Mason flashback. actually yeah. might end up walking away with the dub if they can't take down these last two condors. Oh, let's see it. Frizzy and Shaka left alive. The bomb is landed over on A site. Frizzy comes in. It's a good angle down through that hallway there. It's going to be a high up over the bus. Last. Three George Mason players, two of them are stacked on site, watching the same angle in the same spot, while the other one's just kind of lingering around in the back. Nice. Flash Ooh. out. Perfect Easy. flash. Easy kill. And they got one more to go, though, and only Ooh. one Condor left. That'll be two. Oh, we can't get the, the follow through. Oh, the pistol oh. kill, but he's low health. Can he get the defuse? You're going to oh, have that. He's just sticking it. He's yeah. just sticking it. He's going to have the other George Mason player wrapping around. Is he going to be able to get that in time? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, there's oh. no way that he's going to get that. <laughs> That is insane wow. that that last GM player could not make his way around and <laughs> insult the injury. The Condors take that last round. I did not think the Condors were going to walk away with a dub on that on that oh. fun little extra round. Got to like give him give him like, you know, accommodation for that. He stuck that right away. No hesitation, I, no nothing. He got I, the kill and he's like laptop time. I think the big thing is that George Mason probably was not expecting that to happen at all they're probably saying hey hey the, we've seen the condors hunt us before mm -hmm. they're gonna look for the kills but you have to be aware that clock is ticking down if the condors want to get a win on that they're probably gonna go for it but again it was all fun and games at that point the condors yeah. had already the gotten themselves round. a dub yeah one to seven yeah that game impressive impressive but there they go that's two ma two matches two maps. two maps two maps i am so far on point for my predictions uh of this being a 3-0 would you like to jump on the boat of Leaf's boat. I got a couple more seats. Oh, you're on the boat? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm piloting it. You don't pilot a boat. I'm, I'm captaining, captaining it. Captaining it? I'm steering it. You're steering it, Do you yeah. pilot a boat? Yeah, you pilot. No, you do don't you pilot. Do you pilot a boat? No. I think you do. Um, but, yeah. Maybe. Know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll pilot this blo boat. Pilot the bloat. Pilot okay. the bloat. Okay. <laughs> that sounds gross, but pilot it on over. Yeah. Take a uh, check it on CS. Okay, Wanna wow. A what a transition what that was. <laughs> yeah. Still on Anubis, four to seven, looking real nice. Yeah, I mean, the opponents did get a couple rounds back, and obviously, that's going to make the Condors probably start thinking. You, it's easy when you get those five rounds in a row to say, okay, let's oh. start getting a little, let's start getting a little ballsy on our plays here, and uh, and it's it's very easy to lose momentum. So they've kind of been kept in check at this point. Oh yes, Condors still do the have the advantage right now. Got to take a second, like process everything in. Because of the fast switching, we can't quite get our overlay up and running. But we do see. Oh no, it's because it was a side swap. It was a side swap. It was a side swap. Was a side swap. Yes. Yeah, that is why. But well, seven five now though. And again, I think the biggest. The biggest thing right now for the Condors is to uh, to lock in, and I think you see it in their faces too. That they're like, okay, we 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 had ourselves a bit of a an advantage, and we've lost a lot of that. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, <closing laughs> but I don't know. I, it seems like they are kind of locked in. <laughs> Flying in on a side, a few picks gone out there. Condors, they're up. One player bomb does get planted down. 
can see all three players right now the condors are stacked up or four. Oh no never mind stretches in the back flying his way in picks going out left and right guap gets another trade back out it was a 1v2 but guap cleaned it up got that final kill condors just collapsed on site took their angles that's uh yeah i mean that was close that was very close for uh <laughs> for their opponents i mean they have one player just rocking and almost shutting down the condors but again they get it i think they still have the momentum they're still locked in it is interesting in that time we were away that they were giving up those rounds that they had given up five in that time that it almost became an even series yes they're really close. Didn't see how it quite went down. They still got that advantage by three rounds. That's a lot closer than we want it to be. Oh, Especially yeah. in this, like you were stating earlier, such an important game that's yeah. going on right now. Again, every single one of these. Because it's also making a statement. Because the better you can win these rounds, the more likely your next opponents, if they're paying attention in the league, will play maybe a little bit safer, which you can capitalize on. Because if yeah. someone's afraid of you, they're is an advantage you now have over them. You're in their head. Yeah. Messing with their mind. And yeah, it, it means all the difference as well. Getting that round difference shows that you're an even greater threat to face off against. I want to secure that. Yep. A little slow right now. I'm going to see opposing team is down one player. Condors do with the man advantage coming into this. Okay. Five to four. At this point, it's, it's play it slow. It's play it locked in. Let your opponents... Make that first mistake and then push them hard. A few util going out here. Some mollies stopping from pushing in. Pemkin's watching the angle. ECO might advance around. Seems like he knows she's there though. Morty. He's got that XM on him. Shotgun action. Makes me happy. You love your shotgun. Always, always. So. It's, so, it's such a funny little play style to watch. <laughs> Devastating too. Pem did. Get a little patient, peeked around. XP was waiting for there. Took some damage, however. You see, Condors are going to have to give up site control. A site, to be exact. The opposing team. Oh, PSX oh. is one, gets two. Then we get to a 2v1 situation right now. Condors going to have to try and retake this site. Bomb is most likely going to go down. Uh. It's going to be close here. Five seconds. Bomb has been planted. Up, up. Ooh. Mm. Not quite. 1v1. Stretch against the last player. Oh, good nade coming out. Flush them out of position. Oh, it's looking close. Stretch has got him in got one health. Dub. Just jump on him with a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he heard you. He's coming around the side here, but oh, he knows. He knows. Oh, pop, jump pop. down. Told nice. you. Jump on him with a knife. Oh, he had a gun out. Yeah, but you still like, it was still involved. And he's got the knife out now. See? It did help. It, it gave him the speed. Yeah. That was big dubs. Big dubs. Anyways, hopefully they can keep that going on. We do have our COD matches back on, so we're going to yeah. focus in on that. We have one more map to win for our COD squad. Ooh. I like that. COD squad. I'm sure I'm not the first person who said that. No, but, like, I heard it in that moment, and it, like, I mean, it, was it like itched my brain. You know, yeah, it's yeah, one, yeah. Of those, one of those word combos. It's like saying papaya. Rhymes. Papaya. Oh. Papaya is just Papaya. like a wonderful word to you say. Had to, I'm going to be like thinking about that word for like the next 10 minutes now. Papaya. Nice. All right. Well. There's another word that sounds good. There, there's quite Victory. a few. Victor. Yeah. Victory. Well, let's see if the Condors get another one of those. They got a couple <laughs> under the belt now. See right now. This is on control. We've advanced too. This is the match point for the Condors. They take this map. They win tonight's series. Let's see it happen. I haven't seen too much of control yet, so... Try and keep up with this as much as I can. See zone B right now. Hunters are trying to take control of. Yeah. Get some good kills out, but doesn't seem to be advancing the progress at all. Well, this is the thing. If you can get a good map control again, with control, you can force those spawns into either end of the map. And the condors probably try to do that as soon as possible here. Nice. Two down off the board. This might be a good... Time for them to set up for that control, hence the name. Ah, but we do lose J Ray. It's quite interesting what's going on right now. Oh, might be trying to take it. 20 seconds left. Condors do have the lives advantage, I guess, going into this right now, but. 
no one's messing with the objectives. I mean, at this point, sometimes it's it's okay to just play that. I mean, you you want to just, just a, keep your opponents off those just objectives a TDM right and now? control it, right? I mean, if you want to run those lives down, that's the other angle that you could take from this. If you know yeah. you can outgun your opponents, uh, and again, some of it comes down to map control. If you know you can force and them through the certain areas, then you can just hold on, not go for points, because that could put you at a dis. Uh, disadvantageous spot, hold those lines, and just run down their lives to grab the, the win. Yeah, they got those high, like, once again, high ground. It always yep. comes into play. They got the position yep. by the helicopter up there. You saw the crane spot. And yeah, they're just killing him instead. Yep. That's interesting. Nope. See, so so. turn around like that and just a different play style towards it, but if you if, it works, it works. if you know what you're doing and you know you can win those uh, you can win those gunfights, get yourselves into a good spot on the map. Again, as you said, they're on... A lot of those those high points, they're making sure that they're controlling the high ground and they're a, getting those angles that they can win those gunfights. Why not? I mean, why go for the points at that point? Mm, but it seems that George Mason might be trying to switch it up here. I know. They know they need to get a, a control oh, yeah. of a hill. Yeah. yeah. They're going to go for that instead. So trying to just contest these gunfights. Frizzy trying to be the man above, get that Overwatch going. Can't quite get the kill. Gets traded out. Starboy gets two. But George Mason, they're not making much advancements right now. They're all just shooting from spawn. Now, what I will say is the the old Call of Duty player in me is, is very upset that no one's jumping off the crane and doing 360 no-scopes. <laughs> yeah, I get that final kill clip. <laughs> you don't see much of snipers in uh, this competitive. It's all about that mobility. Well, they killed quickscoping a long time ago. I'm imagining it's still kind of dead. That's unfortunate. That's why we loved it. Good Crazy kill on there. Sight. Yep. Able to get one. It seems like Condor is always like to rotate out and have this one player up at helicopter. Take control of it. Yeah. Big, big thing that's going on right now though is that they are taking the control of the points. Yes. They're saying, hey, this is a little more competitive now that we're on this side. It's actually and down in lives now too because of it. Right. And they, I think they've realized that control of these points is going to be a little more relevant at this point. And. George Mason now starting to put up a big fight for the Condors. It's not going to be as easy of a win as they first hoped for. No, no, no. They're turning around a little. Condors a little bit behind. They do have some, a bit more progress on the points. Two sections on A, one on B. George Mason's going to have to get something done here. It might be... George Mason might be going for the kills instead. They might just be taking Condors' tactic here and spitting right back in their face with it. Let's see, however... It's just, yeah. it's just starting to feel like a TDM to me right yeah, now. Well, that's like it. There's, there's that's a lot of I, things happening, a lot of people dying. That's what I'm happening. Well, they do have control of that point again. Clock is stopped. We're going to see if they can get that full progress over at B. But again, 12 to 15. What's happening? George Mason are winning in lives if they can run that clock down. But they need to get the Condors off that point. Ooh, Jerry is coming in. Gets one. It's one to his right. He's got to look out past that generator. Ooh, couldn't wait to get that second kill. But Condors on the edge of victory on both points right now. Looking real nice. Just forcing George Mason to split up their team and just try and take control. Point A. Oh, that's a Condors. huge win. Get himself yeah. back on point. And they got the A secured. B is the last one. And you see, again, one of our players walking right on over there and sitting on point. It's J Ray. He's going to try to cap that last one, but it's being contested. There's three oh, players so on it. Oh, he thought he got it. Not quite. Backed out. George Mason did get a little progress back of Condors. Five lives left. It's getting close. They're going to have to think a bit more about how they use these lives. And this should be the point hold. If they get that kill, yeah, this is going to be a no great response. position for the Condors. Yeah, at this point, they've got the point. They've got it secured. Nice. And the Condors are going to grab that dub on the second round there on control. Ooh, that was close on the lives there, too. That was fairly a GMU, too. No res response. The Condors was at six left. Right. Well, I'm wondering, again, I, I'm going to say that it was probably that... that Side switch that uh, allowed that to happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, the side they were coming out there. I don't remember, uh, obviously, a lot from my, my days, but I do remember whenever I was spawn controlling opponents, they were on the side the Condors were just on. Okay. The side that George Mason is on now. So uh, remember I'm your, imagining. Your bullying days? Yeah, I'm imagining not much is changing, so. <laughs> you know the dominating spots. You know where to be. Uh, we'll see if that turns around. This is a nice. Ooh, quick sweep, ooh. or if we're going to have George Mason come out with some different strats. They're really trying to get on those points quick to see bottom of the map. B, 
It's being contested, and a win there is going to be absolutely massive for George Mason. They should be able to cap and get on to these points, but I wonder if they're just going to hold their lines at this point. It's all about speed right now, just who can get to that point faster, get control, get that ground secured, and right now George Mason, they got the advantage on the Condors. They got a site coming up. Ooh, Frizzy was able to get the explosion off on the propane tank there, I believe it was, accidentally took down J-Ray, but cleared the way for him to push on and hopefully get it back in the Condor's favor right now. A little bit of green left on that progress bar. Yeah, a little bit on there. There's not going to be enough to shut down the Condors from taking that point. There's going to be a 1v1 on A, and it's going to be going up by the Condors. They're going to get on point now and start to dominate that. Look at that. A little bit of push up on top of the map as they try to hold it. And that door right there, very difficult. The active to come out of, that's the line you want to be holding. And that's why it's so difficult to maintain control of the map coming out of that side. With the time ticking down and 24 seconds left, it'll be interesting to see what these teams decide to do. Is it more important to get these points or is it more important to get the live counter down of the opposing team? Condors do have the advantage right now, so they might well, just, yeah. yeah, step off point no, here. No, at this point, Let yeah. Let the timer at, go down. At this point, with that map, oh, they had Ooh. strong map control, but they get shut down by George Mason. And now they're going to be able to get on point, shut down the clock, and see if they can get a tick on that A point. But with all the rest of <laughs> their team down, I don't know if they're going to be able to hold it. Condors, Condors gonna are going to step up. on it, yeah. Three seconds left. Going for a kill, and that's nice. going to be the Condors again. It was a difficult situation, a good fight back from George Mason. They honestly gave up a really good fight yeah. at that yeah. point. Like so. the, first, uh, the first round of that looked a little more Condors' favor. They definitely right. were the dominant power. But then into that second round, the tone completely changed. Yeah. No, that was great fight from George Mason. But, of course, that victory overall is going to be three map oh. victories for the Condors. And our Call of Duty squad can walk away saying, whoop, whoop. They now we get to go up against Fanshawe later, and we're feeling good about it. Yeah, yeah, they know that they are up there. They're able to get on that skill with Fanshawe. Of course, it was between Fanshawe and St. Clair are their teams to beat this year. Mm -hmm. Learned that at the start. That's what they're going for. Those are the big baddies they're targeting. And, of course, seeing that, GMU did get beat by Fanshawe last mm -hmm. week. 3-0, and Condors just did the same thing. Right. So they're on that equal playing field with them, and they're going to have some good confidence when they go up against Fanshawe real soon. Right. You won the battle, but the war is still to come. And Fanshawe's, well, part of that larger war. <laughs> so ominous there. <laughs> I told you we're back and forth today. It's a, it's a large amount of balance. Get that balance, yeah, no. But for them, that's what it's going to be. They, yeah. they looked at this as saying, this is a battle that if we lose isn't a big problem, but it's one that we need to do to make sure our enemies are shaking by the time we get to them. Yeah. And they've done a good job of proving that. Overall, looked very controlled. A little bit of uh, a fight back there from George Mason, but... Again, overall, you look at the series, you say Condors was very confidently the victor here. Oh, 100%. 100%. They're looking great. Boys are doing real good out there. And, yeah, it was perfect. Perfect. 3-0. Your perfect? prediction was well, good. Yeah. Your prediction was good. There you go. Yeah. They only they gave up one round. Right. One search and destroy round, and that was it. That is true. So it was almost perfect. Yes. It, well, they kind does of, the, does the they one kind of got it back. Yeah, I was does that say. negate the one round <laughs> loss? I think they, they bounced it out at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I consider it perfect then. Cool. It's yeah, perfect. I like to Good see job, that. Guys. Perfect uh, there we day go. today. That's the COD. COD for now. Yeah. Well, Swap we're it on over. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out if uh, we'll find if we can uh, get a, co a perfect uh, for the day too. Just a yes. perfect day yes. for uh, Call of Duty. Or sorry, for Counter Strike. Counter -Strike. We didn't. Uh, we don't have results, so we don't know how that first map ended up going no. for our Counter Strike team. So we'll find out in a bit. The thirteen five. We just got it in. Do 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 do. News news flash. 13 to 5 for the Condors. So the, after we left, they didn't give up a single round. They heard us. Yeah. They said, oh, my bad. We'll and this is, again. this is what I was saying when we were watching. I'm like, hey, we start off on a 5 0, you go up to six, and then you give five rounds back. That to me, in a lot of cases, ends up feeling like you lost focus. And mm -hmm. once they locked in again, it went on. And <laughs> it still feels like it was a lost focus thing. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that's what it was. Okay. Uh, because. They didn't give up a single round afterwards. No. They said, oh, let's lock in. Yeah. And they locked in. A little bah, 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 smack your face, a little, uh, yeah, a little yeah, show, and yeah, then you're whoa, back in. You're ready to go. scary. Yeah. Very you got to do what you got to do. All right? Well, uh, what do you do? Well, if stop you need, yelling if at you me. If you need to lock in, what don't do you do? Don't yell at me. Ah! 
Ah! Okay, I'm so scared. I need to get out of here and change my pants. We're going to go to a break and come back for, call or for Counter-Strike right after. Conestoga College is setting the stage for a new era in gaming. In 2025, we're opening a state-of-the-art esports venue, a premier facility for high-performing gamers in Canada. In this 10,000 square foot facility, we're putting you in the center of the action. The facility will have 50 top-tier PC stations, five console stations, immersive VR stations, a team operations room, a full production suite, and a premier competition stage. Esports is a rapidly evolving industry with global viewership of 532 million in 2022. This initiative goes beyond esports. It's also a platform for forging bonds, making memories, and creating connections. Since 2020, Condors Esports continues to evolve providing industry-leading facilities and experiences to the esports community. Conestoga's esports venue expresses a sustainable and intentional future to compete, play, and work, all powered by gaming. Hello and welcome back to Conestoga College. We're here watching the Condors Esports. And it's a wonderful day. My God. I had to get you back for scaring before. Yeah, I'm Lee. This me. is Oheck. And I hope you pooped your pants. Whew. Yeah. I, I, I think it went straight through, actually. <laughs> that, was a, that was very powerful. Uh, right, we're going to yeah. have to get you Coach Hurd from the Rocket League Squad's hat. You can wear that. Heard the turd? Heard the turd. Heard the turd. <laughs> Don't call him a turd. He's got a, it's Hurd's that's, turd. That's his username. <laughs> Oh, well, still. That's where the poop hat comes no, from. No, but you That's just sounded like you were you were just saying it, and it was no, rude. No, I, I mean, it, if you're listening, Hurt, I mean nothing wrong against you. No negativity at That's all. That's not what he said off camera. But oh, okay, okay. okay. You're kind of weird here. Well, anyways, <laughs> we're getting into some Counter-Strike in a few moments here because we just watched our Call of Duty squad win, and we want to keep the Condor dubs on their way. So we're going to see how this second map goes for Counter-Strike. If you're just joining in now, we had a 3-0 for Call of Duty earlier. Yep. They're very happy. It was. It looked very good for them against uh, George Mason squad. And now we have our Counter-Strike squad taking down map 1, 13-5. They gave up five maps and then just continue to tear on through the rest. We'll hope that well, carries on. Five, five rounds. It's, or sorry, five, five maps. Yeah. I was like, five, <laughs> five rounds. And now we go into our second map. 
which is going to be on Overpass. Yep. Talk to me about how you think this is going to go for a squad. We've seen a lot of good stuff come from the Condors and Overpass. This was good. last semester, so we got some new right. changes, of course, true. for the comp. True, 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 true. Uh, Overpass was actually the map they played on and won the finals in. The grand playoff finals well, at the end. A little bit so, of good so history so here. For saying they, they got a good track record on Overpass. Good but. history here. And I do want to mention as well, uh, ahead of time, Call of Duty also had an update recently that um, messed them up. And into Counter-Strike, we've seen some similar stuff here. So it's quite you the see patch any, day. You yeah. see any oddness going on your screen, don't be too – don't be alarmed. <laughs> don't don't call the authorities. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get through this together. Just reach out. We'll hold your hand, okay? But we'll get into our next map. Do you map. call the authorities if you see an issue on stream? I, well, sometimes if you're scared, you don't know who else to look up to. Okay, I guess you know, so. They're, yeah. they're there to support the community. Well, I, I live with a police officer in my house, so I don't need to, I don't need to call them. You just knock on the... Yeah. You just hit a broom to the ceiling? Uh, up beneath me, actually. Oh, okay. Just, just start stomp stomping around. I get my right. bowling ball out and I drop it. Uh, just go straight through? Sometimes. <laughs> it depends where you, like, target. If you knock them out. Sorry, officer. Oh, that's, my, that's I don't think they're going to go to just a sorry on that. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> let's see how, how this goes for the Condors in our first round. You see him starting all the way. They're going to be playing defense right off the bat, CT sided. Uh, just heads up, we do have the coaches on the uh, opposing teams. That's one of our little weirdest that's things. A, that's a little yeah. ghost up there. So it is a 5v5. It is 5v5. They don't have an extra player. We see them flying right in here onto A site. Condors are just going to give up control, going to play for the retake. Yeah, this is a quick push for that site. Now bomb planted. Don't have to be yeah. a defuse. I believe they got it down on default there, right by the truck in the boxes. Good spot to keep it down. A lot of cover around it. Condors are making their way on. PSX gets two. You have to watch on the corner oh, here. Three, they one, got it. Three, nice. none. That is exactly what happened there. And a defuse coming in, and Condors got themselves there. First round win. I thought Conestoga is just, too, I guess, too big that it fades out on the on the edge of the <laughs> is round. Is that what way. it did there? I saw that too, yeah. <laughs> it's a big word, Conestoga Condors. And just to give you a little heads up, we're against the Viterbo V-Hawks. Yeah, ver game. is it v Viterbo or Vertibo? Viterbo, Vertibo, Vertibo? I'm just going to say the Hawks. Vertibo I'm just going to say the Hawks. Say the Hawks cool. so yeah, yeah that's, that's fair enough. Well, we'll see if the Hawks... Can uh, catch up to us because so far we're winning this aerial race. We're the better bird. Oh, this is going to be a very scary Ooh. situation here for Morty. Oh. He rocks one but gets taken out by the others. The double kill with the XM. It's always like it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, man. We do see PSX. He's got the AUG out. He has quite the fan of the ADS weapons in this game, of course. Me too. I'm a Call of Duty player. Talking about the SG earlier. <laughs> Love to see it. He's stuck down here. Whoa, whoa. Might need to get a connector real quick. He's going to throw the flash out. And now nah, he's just going to back off. Give the space. Regroup with the team. No need to do any risky plays. No, nope, that's smart. I mean, you're hanging on CT. You know that there's only two left alive. You've got the rest of your squad. No need to be a hero. And a little boost there. Get some information. Oh, Pem getting picked off. She's going to call out where the, the others are, and they'll start to rotate back on the site there. There's one. Can she get the kill? And she's not going to be able to, but he is lit up, and hopefully the other three can handle the situation. Yeah, push on the site of your PSX. He's got a third kill in his name this round. 3v1. Guap just can't quite get out of bank. Smoke is out. PSX may need to wait a bit of time for his teammate to rejoin him. Whoo! Yeah, very interesting push there through the smoke. You have to assume one of the Condors players is probably watching that smoke. And just being anywhere near that made it, uh, yeah, an interesting push. Oh, yeah. For the Hawks. I'm going to call it right now. I'm seeing PSX. Yep. He's using the AUG. He's back on his SG. I'm going to say he's a bit of a player to watch this game. Uh, the good call. Good call I'm, because, I'm, I mean, he, yeah. he was, anytime he nailed a shot, it was, it was dead. People were dead. I didn't know the sentence to finish there. <laughs> Anytime he, he took a shot, he was no, getting his he, kills. He's an absolute maniac with those weapons. He loves it. He doesn't need those hip fires. See right now, a bit of an A site push or B site. I mean, they just all filed their way in, tried to make their way onto site. Molotov flew in, got some damage out, and Condors just finished him off. Real easy peasy. Would you say this is a T or CT heavy? Oh. Sorry to put you on a spot like this, but... Like, I mean, like, scratching my head with this one now. No, you don't um, have to give an answer if you don't want to. Let me think about it. 
Yeah, you get back to me, okay? I'll get back to you on it. It's a very big map. Send me a I'll text later. <laughs> After the stream's done. Oh, hey, by the way. <laughs> by the way, here's something you could have Googled yourself. <laughs> yeah, probably. But, um, I'd say CT. It does. It, I'd say CT. Yeah, it does seem like it. Thought about it a bit. It, it, there's a lot of, like, places you can go. A lot of different connectors, a lot of different places to hold it down. But it all comes down to a lot of close, narrow, like, funnels for yeah. the T side to make their way through. I'm very intrigued to see, though, again, how PSX is going to hold connector. He's seems to be good so far on it, and he did have someone area. He nailed someone through the smoke, got a couple oh. bits of damage. Morty's flanking through park here. He's going to get up behind. He's going to be massive. Four players are there, nice. and if he can get the picks. Oh, but I think someone's watching it. Oh, no, not quite. Oh. One, oh. two. One, two. Nice. <laughs> there it is. You Gotta did. watch out, though. Oh, a little too quick. Bombs down, though. But again, you see the Condors just hanging out. They know that with these two sites so close together that they could probably just hold the situation. The Hawks need to make that move in. 44 seconds left. Smoke's out. It's going to give an advantage there for the Condors as the Hawks will have to push through it. They might just wait it out a little bit here. Hawks just playing out their time. Guap yeah. is a little suspicious of it. Seems like he's going to go for a bit more of a rotate right now. Pemmy Can's going to have to hold this site all on her own. Waiting for V-Hawks to make a move here. Oh, we're seeing the utility get thrown out. Smokes are deployed by the Hawks. They're going to make their move push on. Watching their corners, getting those angles out. Pemmy's probably going to call for help right now. She's yeah. seeing everything throw on. Oh, oh she gets the beautiful one. Beautiful tap. Oh, second is real low right now. Pem couldn't get the second kill, but there enough damage was put on. And we have that last Ooh. player trying to get the kill, but we have, uh, I think, a stretch. Yeah, stretch is now moving on site, but he's got a long way to go. He's coming from the right side, though. He's just got to make sure to check his angles. Slowly but surely, get quiet. No need to run. Don't make any noise because you want to keep that last player guessing. Bomb is about to go off here now. Oh, he though. might be able to get close. the sight and the pick, and he nice. gets the kill, and he'll get the defuse. Great hold there for Stretch. Overall, again, Pem doing what I've always seen her do. She's done a great job at at least getting a kill or landing enough damage that her teammates are cleaning things up very quickly after. Very great she support for the squad. Got both. Yeah. Till the replay here. This flank from Morty was insane. Oh my. Love to see it. Yeah, I. The end of it was a little interesting. He did act a little bit too quick after it. Maybe the adrenaline got to him. It's always good to maybe fall back a little bit and keep the enemy team guessing where you're going to strike next. But still, the one for two. Always take that trade. Always. Again. PSX running into connector there. He loves that spot. Yeah, this is the thing. I was going to say, I was talking about how Pem's a great support for everyone but here, but it's, it's PSX that tends to... Uh, Tends to clean up a lot of those kills the their opponents that have damage on them. Ooh. Gets one shot out with the op there. Through the wall, does some damage. Able to follow it up with the second. Gets the kill. He's holding this doorway out connector real tight right now. Floppy flop on the inside. Also has an op in zone, so it might be a bit of an op showdown, but no. The pen through the wall gets the headshot. Eliminates PSX, alleviating a lot of the pressure V-Hawks had. And they're just going to take that connector and push the way over to A site. Guap. Hanging out. There's three Condors left to hold down the site. We know they're fully capable of winning these gunfights. Pem once again left. is the last one on site to hold it. That's able to get one kill. Bomb is getting planted. If she get close enough, ooh. Oh, she knows. <laughs> okay, look out. Somewhere oh. there, but she left the smoke a little bit too soon and Guap will be now the last to try to make it on site, but the way that this is being held does not look like this is going to be a great spot for Guap to try and take this site back. And I think I don't think that'll be. I think it'll be the flank for for some kills or just, just a run and save. Just skedaddle. That's what I'm thinking too. Say au revoir. Say Head goodbye. On out. And a little bit late to move away from site. I'm not sure if. The Hawks will be able to get a pick here. Mm. Once he doesn't push up, get too close to connector here. Oh, the door does fall from the explosion, so you gotta. Look yeah, and you saw Guap was was hoping for that too, saying, "Hey, I yeah. might be able to get a look at someone, take one more pick on the way out, try to force the Hawks into at least one more rebuy." Even Viturbo V Hawks doesn't fit on the full.
title there. Too the much. End. It just says Urbo. I feel like these names aren't really those long of names either. Conestoga Condors is a lot of letters. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it when you say it. It, it flows nice. Because like I would make I would make a team name probably like we're the cool guys, and I feel like that's already more letters. That's like those team names I see in RLCS the qualifiers. It's all like those. <laughs> we have great names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is finally a round for the Hawks. We saw this before too in the first map where yep. we did have the Hawks manage to squeak a few round wins in, and then the Condors locked right back in. But if your call of this being a Ooh. CT heavy side is correct. You want to see as many rounds as possible going to the Condors now. Look at Morty right now. He's being real sneaky again. He's getting behind, but he's waiting his time out a bit more because he knows there's not a lot of action going on on site. So he doesn't need to get anything done quick. Because if you know the, the V-Hawks are going in for an attack, pushing in with the utility, they're not going to be focused on what's happening behind them. I think that's exactly what his game plan is here. Teammates might want to communicate. Smokes Ooh. are going out. Ooh. A lot of damage through the smoke. Sometimes that's all you're hoping for. Oh, nice angle from Guap there. Now, Condor is dropping like flies. It's the Hawks moving in real strong. Uh, it's just Morty left. Three to one. Oh, oh. oh he's going to get one. Oh, might be able to take one. a second. There it's going to be. Not quite. Oh. A second shot. Not able to come out in time. Only had the Mag 7 on him. Couldn't do too much. All right. Although I love, I love, he's sticking true to these shotgun plays. <laughs> Appreciate it, Morty. <laughs> Just for you. Oh, so entertaining. Love that guy. 4-2 now, though, Condors. Get back in the groove of it. That's fine. They still got the money to go off of. They're going for a pistol round here, yeah, however. Just hold eco and yeah. make sure you... Uh, again, sometimes you want to think ahead. You're not just thinking about this round. Could we buy? Sure. Oh, five stack coming up real aggressive from a site. Flying in. Going after connector. Well, absolutely. You may as well when you got pistols. Get in there. Tunnels. Do some damage. Oh. They're going to get one down, but another oh. eliminated <laughs> with Utel. A fire lit them up into the wow. bowels of hell. That's quite the hot tunnel going on right there. It smells like uh, burnt hair. Hey, the good thing is, though, they took down two Yes. in that escapade. They made that journey. Got some to to too, some weapons. <laughs> try to meet up with Belzebub. <laughs> they weren't able to say hi, but at least they, they did shake out. hands with a couple of his, his little demons. A positive, positive, but it seems right now Connor's going for a bit of a playground excursion. Look at this. Hello, Mr. Elephant. Let's just chill out here and save these AKs, you know? No point in doing anything too crazy. Is that an elephant? I think that's an elephant. Isn't that an elephant? Um, yeah, mammoth. Oh, it's got tusks. Oh, but elephants, we do have, elephants tusks. have tusks, elephants right? Have yeah, tusks. Yeah. It's, it's Not weird. all of them. It's, Not all it's weird to think, because the thinking of an elephant, when I picture it, I don't think tusks. But then you think about it, you're like, oh, no, I think they do have tusks. But then you think, you're like, no, that looks weird now. Like, in my head, I can't actually picture an elephant's face. No, an elephant doesn't have tusks. You're right, it, it is a mammoth. Yeah. You're right, it is a mammoth. I just, like, gaslit myself after you said that. Well, then you gaslit me as a result. Yeah. <laughs> we got everyone yeah, on the yeah, phone Googling an elephant right, right now. now. <laughs> Elephants do that. Oh, my God. I'm going to be thinking about that all again. Why? Wow. That right? is that, weird. That is, just that is really weird. Elephants never forget, but apparently humans do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to our elephant oh. brethren out there watching. So bad, so bad. Right now we're going to see... V-Hawks pushing in, going to take control of Park. They want to get A here. It's very A, positive push. PSX isn't quite able to push up in the connector, but Morty, he's just coming in from behind over and over again. Oh, oh hello! hello. <laughs> Didn't work out the way he wanted it to. No, probably not. But no trade, at least a little damage. Well, might be a nice nade for PSX going out there. Bang. Gonna get the smoke out too. Yeah, smoke's gonna be great to be able to peek oh. these corners, but they can't get any pick. PSX, again, we've seen them doing real well with this weapon, but this round is not the same result. Couldn't quite get the shots up. Pimkin falls it up, gets taken down. Beehawks pushing on sight, taking control. And there's Gawap again with that lurk. He's gonna come in from bank here. He's slowly make his way up though. Bomb's planted down. Get a bit more time for your other teammate to push up. Stretch coming in, other side. Yeah, and the question is, do you push together? Or do you just want to get the information and then push through separate? I think I'm going to get some utility out here first oh, with yeah. the timeout. I think he just saw the util fly through. And this will be an interesting thing. I think they might be heading out of there then. Hmm. 
Yeah. They are. It, it, it's hard. 2v4, right? You don't yeah, got the I advantage. Mean, you, you also look at your economy. I mean, this is next round's going to have to be pistols for a couple. So yeah. you, you want to at least have some sort of firepower on your side. You don't want to all be running pistols and having to do that same run through the fire in the tunnels situation <laughs> again, right? Yeah, they know to stay away from the tunnel this, now. This will let them set that up a little bit better since they have rifles. We are going to see a CT side timeout coming in from the V-Hawks. They got the advantage now, and they might. I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of this is, because we always see these timeouts as a momentum breaker, right? Well, sorry, CT is uh, us. Or T, or is it CT? I can't see it anymore. I'm used to the overlay. I don't know where to look at <laughs> <laughs> it's actually hiding behind the scoreboard right now. Maybe it is a CT timeout. Maybe uh, I actually read it wrong. It's very small. Because you're right. That ah, for, yes. No, because this, this would make absolute sense. This is us breaking it their be, momentum. Yes. yes. That, I apologize. That, that should be, you're right. That would, that would be a very weird timeout to call for the Hawks. Because at this point, you have all the momentum in the world. Mm -hmm. And this is a mental reset for the Condors Counter-Strike squad. And the wide shot. You see them just trying to lock in a little bit. Not a lot of talking going on. I think for them it was it was really much. I mean, you see Morty kind of leading the charge. Yeah. Well, they're doing some communication now. They're talking to each other. Get the close-up angle. Look right at Stretch's face here. Hello. Inspect the knife. Yeah, look at that. What did, what did they say? What's the game plan now? <laughs> that is not what they said. <laughs> there is no way. Kill the enemies. Take the W. Enough said. All right, well, See, again. Stretch hurt, Ooh. kill enemies. Enough said. He's running uh, right in here. Stretch is like, I'm going in. <laughs> oh, followed up by Guap as well. Stretch gets taken down, but Guap's right behind him. Able to finish off the two kills. Giving Condors that advantage. I believe another kill went on. No, 3v4. I keep seeing that ghost player, and I'm like, oh, another kill? Really? How'd they do that? You know, coach. Apparently, coach has been dead for a while. Come on, coach. Get in the game. <laughs> He's been at eight hundred dollars this whole game. He's brutal. He's able to advance the economy coach. at all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See right now, V Hawks just gonna hold back a little bit. They don't have that man advantage. They got a minute to burn, so I'm just gonna hang back and see if the Condors do anything more aggressive, like they did right. at the start of the round. But we're smarter than that, you know. I'm gonna hold these sights instead. They are. We're not. We're not. No. No. Because I was gonna say, if you can't, if you can't play, you coach, and if you can't coach, you cast. So we're at the bottom. Well, no. Oh, yeah. Is there one below casters? Probably not. That really. I can make fun of? No. No, oh. we're, the oh. bottom. we're the bottom of the barrel, son. Dang. It happens. Very slow round. Yeah. Like I said, both sides are trying some interesting strategies, but it's just ending up in V-Hawks losing time. Precious Which is push power. Exactly what the Condors want out of this. Yeah. We still got that advantage on Cyber. Yeah. We got two players over on when A. The fight comes out, though. It's going to be a burst. And there it is. One taken down through the smoke oh, in oh, front of oh, each other. Oh, oh, Hug each oh. other. Oh. And there's going to oh. be the kill. Conestoga <laughs> is going to get the dub. Everyone was going for a group hug, but it ended in dead players. It was a little awkward there, but Morty, that was the right play. He got the kill, and instead of trying to go for a second, he slithered away into the smoke. Right. Disappeared. <gasps> I don't think that's the sound snake. Have you ever heard a snake made a s make actually make a sound? Yeah, they hiss. Do they? Yeah, if they get oh. pissed at you, they hiss. Well, I guess I've never had a mad snake. You ever snake deal with a garter snake? You ever, yeah, you ever but I guess they've never been mad at me. <laughs> I've been bitten by many. Never actually heard them hiss? Yeah. They let you know. Okay, they go, hey, don't do that. All right. We have, again, the round lead, so the timeout helping the Condors. Yeah. But it does feel still... Like we have the Hawks. Oh. oh, almost got the kill. We have the Hawks still feeling our right in this matchup again. Almost a kill through the wall. That was a great jump. Get that information. Now they know where that push is going to happen. Util out. Gets the flash out. Just kind of stalling some time, preventing any possible push from V Hawks here. Guap's holding a nice angle. Now walk away. Three condors on site. Fourth one nearby. Fifth as well, actually. They were on top of each other. I couldn't tell. Oh, there's the push on site. One down. Oh, stretch got two. The Hawks trying to make their way on. Oh, floppy flop with the ah. hop and back. Last one left. Guap's going to have to look out here. Might want to back out and give up that long angle because it's a little too much pressure on him. Use a throwing team. knife. Throw it at him. Oh. 
Oh, it gets the boost instead. Oh, there. I was watching for that. And I think as an opera, you kind of know what's happening, but... PSX trades it out. Yeah. We'll take it, but at the same time, yeah, that is just a... To heads up, you know, as that opera, they're probably going to try to get that information a little bit safer than running out in the open. Yeah. So you're going to have your sights on there. So uh, Condors had to expect they're probably going to lose a player on that boost. Damage is done, though. Oh, sorry. And although it wasn't as needed, PSX peaked out. He got that op shot off. Information's there. Mm -hmm. And take his attention away from any other possible angles he could be focusing on more is huge. Oh, we're going to see PSX getting up up close at Park here. Might run into some of the V-Hawks players. Morty up in connector as well. Condor's got some good angles on this push. He doesn't want to get too aggressive though. I want to hold back and keep the corner unless... Nope, PSX backed out as well. Yeah, he's going to regroup with his team. Just holding this. Yeah. Tiny little angle here. I like get to my see magnifying it, glass, so take a look. What's is it an at? angle for ants? <laughs> All right, we have PSX. Rocking that long. Push looks like it might come back around into mid from Hawks. Yeah, down in the lower park. Might get the building here. Ooh. Oh, good shot from Honey Inspector. It's Pooh Bear on the field. Ooh. And now hard push up onto A site. Nice. See, nice. Good pick there on the, the bomb. Second. Interestingly, he stuck that plant after his teammate died yeah. beside him. You think they might want to turn on that, but last player alive. We'll see if they take the fight. I think they might actually. And there's the Ooh. kill. Conestoga is going to get another round in their hands, and now the momentum's starting to feel like it's swinging back into the Condor's yep. wings. The final player there had to take that fight. Bomb was on site, but not planted, so got to get in there somehow. There, there's the terrorist ter terrorist timeout. Oh my! Wow. A weird accent came out. I of that couldn't one. say that. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't say uh, least, le least life lessons before, least so we we'll each yeah. get... We're even now. We each get one. Trying to break this momentum. The oh, yeah. Kill right and now, yeah. I, I actually will say for the Hawks, I like how fast that came out because sometimes yep. squads will take a couple more rounds past that. But if the timeout worked for your opponents and you see you're not getting it back after... Get yours out quick. I, I, I really respect how fast that, that and this next is, time out came. This is the final round before half as well. You got to use it. Exactly. Because you yeah. get the new ones the next half. Exactly. So. Re regardless of, of the round, the fact that you, you just gave up three after their opponents had a timeout, yeah, I, yeah. I wanted that. Yeah, hey, that's a good idea. And then they go yeah. after it, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, may as well, as you said, you're going to get another one. Use it up, use it up. In the next half. Get it out of there. But. I think all the Condors needed was to get their heads back in the game when it came to uh, those angles they were holding because I yep. think there was just a couple awkward angles like we saw it with PSX. You had a few really great picks early on in the earlier rounds and then that stopped happening later. So that's exactly it. We see PSX oh. back to his spot. Beautiful op pick. Get to watch out here, <laughs> Down though. in connector. Tries to go for a second one. I love that he's back where he needs to be. Frag is out. We'll see if the push comes up, but they know an off is sitting down in connector there. And we're going to see them chase him down. And he gets his butt right on out of there. V-Hawks are down a bit of money, though, this round as well. So they don't want to use up too much utility as they don't have as many throwables as the condos do. Right on dedicate side, to the though. site said. Guap gets a good pick off there. 3v4 right now. And they'll go for the plant. And that's an absolutely smart plant. They made that rush on. And now it's going to be the Condors to Ooh. take it back. Get the kill. Not uh. quite. Morty can't finish off the kill. Frag is out to at least land a little more damage. Watch the flank now from the Hawks as they're going to come back on behind. Oh, he pulls up the knife at the weirdest moment there. Interesting, but Stretch able to get up in the chaos. Get that kill that Morty did manage to get out of the open. Last player left. He's going to hold down long. Great hold here. Stretch is watching him, though. Stretch is watching him. And there nice. it is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Send Deary out on your first. Watch along. Let your teammates get that job done on site. Defuse. Condors. Clockwork, baby. Oh, yeah. Good way to finish out that first half. Switching sides. Condors on CT now. All right. I think they got it. I think they got oh, it. Oh, yeah. Big push. I mean, it's, it's pistol round, so they're going to anyways. <laughs> what do you want to see? You want to see... Where do you oh, want to go? I see dual Berettas in the hands of Stretch right now. They're flying in. Oh, baby. They're flying in. Oh, no, he gives it to oh. 
taking those. Yeah, Morty's got it instead. They make their way through. All right, tunnels. I want to see how yeah. Morty deals with those. To be honest. Oh. Oh no, they back up. Slowed it down a little pace. Oh yeah, no, they're gonna go through park. PSX is gonna hang out here, get some ground and connector. There's nobody in there though. There's nobody yeah. has to worry about. Clear it out. Team doesn't have to worry about. Who's gonna get him info though, which is gonna be great. Oh, here we go. Here's Morty. John Wick. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to reload here. Yeah, very long reload. Yeah, it's my favorite thing in the world. Right on site. Come Pointed, on, light him up. Oh, he gets flashed. The lookout. He got the information. See. He knows one's behind truck, and they're on site. There's the pick for Pem, and another one from Gawap. And now they're gonna be in a, an advantageous spot. Of the bomb. Is and Boom. another one taken down. You know why he died there? He lost the speed. I think that's what it is. He lost they the all slowed down. Yeah. It's my fault. I started. Would John Wick slower, slow down? So oh. they started going slow. You like transferred the energy yeah. into the. So I'm gonna start talking really, really fast. Whoa! Here they come! Here they come! Another kill! Oh. Look at that! Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's going once. Be, it's going uh, twice. Them dead. Sight <laughs> sold. We we gave the energy to the wrong team. <laughs> Seek Wap, final player left. Got to ah. defend this bomb. Nice. Gets the kill off. Uh, final V Hawks player. First round of the half going to the Condors. Pistol round already declared as their own. I think it's because we both started going fast. And then we, we, we gave this so much speed that it, it gave the momentum to the Hawks, and then that's why they took out two of our players. It's it's funny how we joke about it, but like it actually like happened. Yeah. Like it's you got me thinking now about that it's energy okay. transfer nonsense. No, we work together. We're a squad. This Both. is why this is why in most cases you don't want biased casting. Okay. Because you can help the other team out. <laughs> Through these incantations. But oh. here we need Whoa. to do it. Look at this right now. What? All the Vihawks stacked on up. Earth? <laughs> Inside Lower Park building here. Morty, look out! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're gone. The whole gang is set up in there. One good grenade could figure it all out. PSX gets two. Yeah, they're going to back off, though. That mall is going to be probably wasted because it looked like they were getting on out of there anyways. <laughs> Just flush him out with util. Get him in a worse spot. Put him into park. Yep. A site is fully open right now, though. I think we see the yeah, the spot was instead planted on B. So if uh, Vox want to get anything done here, they have to push around, get over to B site. Oh my bad. God! Guap Guap is in the way. Just sits down and lays down everyone in front of him. Beautiful spray control. The trip. And that is clean. We're gonna look at it again. Bop one, bop two, bop three. Just hold down the trigger on those last two. You know they're coming around. Great hold from Gawap. Great play. Sometimes buying that AK in that second round, you know, it's a little risky, right? You don't know exactly if you're going to get anything done with, with that chance to get picked. He knew he was going to get stuff done with it there. That he did. It went to use all that money. Ending that round with a nice triple kill. See PSX. He wants his connector control, and he takes it. Just like that. No need to worry. Condors got the pressure on A, able to push in. One defender. Second one rotating Ooh, around, gonna fall through stairs. Ooh, PSX can take down by the off. Second kill as well. Hopefully flop going crazy. That looks like Stretch still thinks the player might be around there. He's gonna try to get the swing. No information gathered. First sight. He's out wide in the open. Yeah, they thought that player was still hanging out mm -hmm. here in Lower Park. We have a smoke coming out now to stop the push. we're going to see a bit of a rotate here. From the yeah, campus. over to, to B site. Or, you know, maybe even sit around, buy some time, and fake that rotate. That's true. Oh, look at this third person view we're seeing now. Oh. I oh. love that. Oh, man, it's an action RPG. <laughs> you hear, like, the Skyrim music start playing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> Welcome. We're in overpass. Yeah, real slow right now, though. Yeah, I think you're right on the yeah, fake. Fake the rotate. And now they want to rush in. Now seeing that it doesn't look like the Hawks bit, though. One on site, taken down. The other two are rotating up back. The plant will go down real fast. We'll see how the Condors handle now as the Hawks get back on site. Oh, Floppy Flop still has that off in hand as well. It's quite the threat. Great Stretch kill. gets one. You have to look up for the others. That stairs. Both of their Floppy Flops just walking, watching the angle. A good util could change the whole course at the end of this round right now. And that it does, that smoke. Flushing out of that spot. Oh, yeah. I'm dancing. Funky beats. Let's go. Great, uh, great fake. You're the genius. You called it. You said, hey, let's fake that rotate around to B. The second that they thought there was enough time, a, the Hawks were off site and they I could make that a, plan. I got a mental transmission from the players. They told me what they were going to do. Sorry. 
Uh, right, well, I'm glad I was included in that group chat. I, I could, like, tune you in real quick. Like, it, I, I don't no, know. No, no, you have the, okay. psych you have the they, psychic they, power to handle they it? They didn't invite me in the first place. Okay, so I, okay. I get it. It's okay. Stay over here. Wow. <laughs> Great kill. This is PSX home territory, but he gets taken down on his own turf. You, you got one with him. Got the second one down at half. You know, that's good enough. That's what you need. Want to take a note right now. Condors, two rounds away from victory. Just saying. Just saying. That is good. Things are going great. Pushing on to sight. Stretch gets some smokes out here. We're going to see it. Bombs coming real quick. Oh, Pemmy can. Bit nice. of a risk there. Bomb carrier. Got the kill. However, we're going to get the bomb down. 2v4. Stretch is in a good position underneath oh, the tank. Great position. Oh, he caught him with the utility out. He knows where the second is. Easy peasy. Ooh. Lemon squeezy. Conestoga sitting themselves up for victory in another round here. This is a long haul if the Hawks want to run this one back. It's looking real nice. And like we said earlier, important match they had going on here. Important games. Very important to set the stage for the for every other team watching them today. And for them to get these 2-0, if they're able to get this round mm -hmm. with such a good round difference included in that as well. Every win is important for them in this league. As we said, is that one potential spot for playoffs on the line? They got it. That's a Condor spot already. They already got the name written on it and everything. Yeah, baby. They just don't want to say it yet. Floppy Flop is able to shut down to the Condors coming in through Upper Park. Yeah. PSX gets... Ooh, tagged one running away. Got a connector. He's always going back in Ouch. there. Oh. That's the hard part. They know, <laughs> they know there's going to be a Condor <laughs> player waiting in those connectors every single time. And they kind of just set themselves up for victory oh, on that kill. got to look out here. Yeah. Sometimes you just don't look at the right corners. So many angles to watch. Sometimes. All the time for me. All the time, yeah. You don't know? I'm always looking at the wrong angle. <laughs> Maybe, have you ever tried looking at the right angle? It's obtuse. Obtuse? Not acute? Yeah. Unfortunate. Maybe we'll switch that for you in the next update. Right now, Morty, last one left. 1v4. He does have bomb on him, though. The player here. Oh. Terrorists win. Said it was a long journey for the V-Hawks. And they start it right now with a fifth round gained. Again, the journey has barely gotten any shorter. <laughs> and, you know, you got to base camp. You still have the mountain to climb. Baby steps. But fortunately, I won't step much more. I'm saying that Condor is going to shut him down right here. Going to have to get some big buys out. They don't want to lose this round, especially since this not only match point, they're going to be real low on Econ. You're going to send them back to pistols if they don't get this round win. Or you see PSX running right in like a bear claiming his cave. Yeah, he's watching every corner now. Oh, <laughs> we just lost it. We're going to see if that gunfight goes into his hand. I feel like he was about to Oh, there's to no see players something. in there. There's no one he ran into. No, no, no. At the top of stairs. I thought oh. he was going to keep pushing through. Oh, no. So good. Morty might run into one here on the left side. Lower park building. Eggs going ham. Ooh. The eggs did indeed go ham. Now bomb down at mid. It's going to be a difficult place for the Condors to retrieve that from. PSX did swing out a connect there. Got some good damage off. Have to regroup with his teammate up here. Try and salvage this bomb. Get it out. Oh, nice. nice. That's a great pick. Huge for the Condors. They got the bomb, and they are out of there. They might not go for a rotate here, though. They might do it again, you know? Get that fake out. I mean, if they're feeling it right now on gunplay... Oh, uh, no, I think V-Hawks has the intel. They're just going to try and win it outright through these picks. Yeah, but they're not going to get the picks. It's going to be nice. for the Condors. Oh, we have two more left for them to take down. Grab that plant. Oh, they might just get the picks. Nice. Great smokes. See how the V-Hawks are going to respond to this. They're trying to get some flashes out. But even with those flashbangs, you don't know if they hit the right person. Don't know if they connected. Too much of a risk to push that smoke. Might give the Condors a little more time. Make their way into bank. Really smart, too. Start spraying through that smoke. Let them know where you are. And they give away their information. Now you know where they are. Shush is one. Second uh -oh. one gets killed. 1v1 uh -oh. right now. Pemmy can the last Woo! player. Finishes it off with that final round win for the Condors. Hey, look Closing how the series. fast PSX took <laughs> off his headset. <laughs> He's, He's like, Bye, I've been in the tunnels for so long. <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> really, yeah. They assigned him that spot to go. And he was... Rinse and repeat, getting after Connector over and over yeah. again. Yeah, they were done with that match. They made a statement. They said, 
ours 2-0. Let's get out of here. We can't let the COD team beat us out. We have to make a statement today. Both the Condor squads that we watched, they did exactly that. They did exactly what we wanted them to. Especially, like you're saying, special match for the CS team. Mm -hmm. No issue at all. Yeah. No issue at all. They got it. They got it in the bag. Looking good. Going to get that second place spot. And every single uh, every single one of them... Well, going forward. Sorry, I may have misinterpreted. The, uh, the, they're fighting for that second place spot. Yes. Yeah, but they still have a bunch more matches to get to to yeah. get to that. Yes. Uh, that's, but what was, I, that's what I'm saying they're going to get it. Uh, yes, I see. Yes, because the they already have their name no on No guarantee. You said it was written on no there. Guarantee. No, you said it was written on there. It's guaranteed. I can't... Uh, oh. You you don't back up on your statement now. I uh, yeah, I, they, they're gonna get it. It's written on there. It's guaranteed. So yeah, gonna, no. that's gonna be so bad. If they, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. That's what we like to see. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful victories <laughs> today for both our squads. Again, if you didn't tune in earlier, we had the Condors playing. Uh, or sorry, the, well, of course they were playing all day. The Call of oh. Duty squad playing, and they got a 3-0. Oh, absolutely wonderful. They were in control the whole time. A little bit of fight from their opponents, George Mason, but wasn't enough to really put up much contention. And then afterwards, we had the Condors playing in Counter-Strike. We just saw that 2-0 map victory. There was a little bit of like, ooh, maybe they could fight back in map one, but... After that fifth round that the V-Hawks got, the Condor said it no. It seems, yeah, they Let's, could only get to five in both those maps. See, and this yeah. is why I wasn't exactly worried when it got to a 4-4 four, yeah. four at one point. I'm like, we saw that before. Deja vu. Exactly. And it continued on. It, we didn't wake up from the dream. Yeah. They still kept winning. Yeah, stuck it. Didn't wake up from the dream. Stayed in it. Let's stayed stay in, in this nice Condor's dream, dream baby, oh, yeah. and see what's going on the rest of the week. We got our schedule on board. Again, it's not just Call of Duty no. and Counter-Strike uh, that we're looking at. We have on the ninth there, Rocket League and Counter-Strike as well. That's a, an earlier one, 6 o'clock. It is. Be, get, get dinner done earlier. Get here on the stream earlier than normal. Show up. Uh, we're talking about gamers. That's breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Get breakfast done earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's like midday. I yeah, I just woke up. Bring a, bring a snack, though. Hang out with us. Get your popcorn, of course. Uh, we also have more Rocket League and Valorant than uh, on the week afterwards. So lots of Condors action to come your way. A lot of double whammies each night as well. I'm loving so, it. There's yeah. just We're now getting into the thick of every single one of these leagues, oh, yeah. whether it's NECC, whether it's NACE, whether it's uh, ECAC. It's across the board. We have a lot of collegiate action happening. Oh, we love to see it, love to see, especially when the teams perform this well. That is absolutely right. Oh, yeah. Do you have any final words you would like to say out to the world to make sure that it stays balanced because oh, what, what, today oh, is all about balance oh but I, I haven't been keeping track of the balance i do well that's kind of awkward positive. have a good night everybody <laughs> how about that uh, i hope it, it's the worst night ever for you oh. that's our <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching everybody let's get out of here let's go home we got more condors throughout the rest of the